Assalamu alaikum my all dearest and beloved SMPNs of campus 5. How are you all doing guys? Hmm, I'm sure you are so happy and healthy. And you are taking suggested precautions against COVID-19. It's very important and necessary as you are so precious for your family. So guys, please take care yourself. So guys, my name is Musarad and I am your English teacher for grade 5, right? I welcome all of you in my English class. Today, we are going to have our English literature class. And as you know guys, in English literature, we read something. We read our lessons of our literature book that is wide range. So, in English literature today, we are going to read our lesson that we have already read, The Little Shore Short. So, guys, please take out your English literature book and start reading Little Shore Short. Now guys, today we will continue our lesson that I, I, as I told you that we are reading Little Short Short and we have read from page number 90 till, yes, 98. So today we will continue from page number 99. Okay guys, so I hope you have understood the character of any oak leaf. That is the main character of the story, Little Short Short. A nine-year-old girl who was famous all over America for her shooting skill that was God gifted. Okay? So guys, you can see the picture of Annie Oakley. I told you people that uh, Annie Oakley uh, is the main character of the story Little Short Short. And this story is based on a true story. Annie Oakley was famous as sharp shooter in all over America. And she, when she was at the age of 9, she got a title of Little Short Short. She was born on August 13, 1860. And died on November 3, 1926. She belonged a very poor family, Oakley family. And she struggled for her siblings for the sake of their hunger. So, she had a God-gifted skills of shooting. She told when a man hits a target, they call him a marksman. When I hit a target, they all it a trick. They call it a trick. N never did like that much by any Oakley. Okay? So let's know about Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley was a well known American exhibition shooter and sharp shooter. At the age of 15, she won a shooting competition with marksman Frank E. Butler and her talent came to light after that. Within no time, she became a distinguished global star and performed before heads of state and member of the royalty. Oakley toured various countries in Europe and also joined the Buffalo Bills Wild West. So, she was a famous short shot. So guys, before going ahead, let's have a preview of the lesson that we have already read and we know about Annie Oakley. Oakley family was very poor and all the children of the family were thin and shabby. Why? Due to hunger. Because they had to wait all time food. They had never enough to eat and wait all the time for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Annie was one of them and an eight-year-old girl. 
One day, her youngest brother was wailing due to hunger, and her eldest sister went out into the forest to pick up the berries and nuts. But her brother did not agree to listen or understand anything. Then Annie took her father's old and clumsy rifle and got outside of the house. Everyone was following her, her siblings. When she got outside, a quail was running near the ground. She shot aimlessly and the quail was dead. Her siblings were happy and had a tasty dinner on that day. Again next day, she shot a wood pigeon on her brother's request. And from that day, she fed her siblings at the age of eight. Okay. Now guys, some new words and their meanings. I have written over here the words that you will see while you were you are reading strode walked with long decisive step in a specified direction means walking within a circle or you can say in a crowd that frank butler strode in the crowd showman a person who produces or presents shows as a profession you can say anchor. The showman was giving a challenge. Okay. Buckskin. The skin of a male deer. Buckskin as a Frank Butler in the story wore a buckskin dress. Swaggering. Walking or behaving in a very confident and arrogant or self-important way. Swaggering. The teacher was swaggering in the class. Or you can say in the story, Frank Butler was swaggering. Annoyed, slightly ag angry, irritated. She was an annoyed girl. Graciously, in a courteous, kind and pleasant manner. She was asking me graciously to have food. Okay? Now guys, it's, it's time for reading. Please take out your book, English literature book that is Wide Range Reader. Okay? Have you taken it out? Hmm. Now open page number 99. As we have already read from page number 90 till 98. So we are going to read today from 99 till 102. So guys, you have taken the preview of the lesson that uh, Annie belonged to a very no poor family, Oakley family, and Oakley children were thin, poor, and shabby because they had never enough to eat. So one day, on her brother's request, when her youngest brother was wailing due to hunger, she shot a coil. And that became a routine. Annie was ready to feed her siblings at the age of eight. Now Annie grew older. And then one day when he, she was sitting on the log cabin near her house. And uh, she was thinking about what could she do. As that was the time for doing something. Her all brothers and sisters were doing an earning for her family. So, what could Annie do? She was thinking and she was a little worried about it. So, I am going to read. Please put your finger on the line, right? No, uh, I don't know what work. I can do. I have never been to school. I'm not clever at anything except shooting and I don't know any job where I could just shoot. What she was thinking? That she did not know what could she do as she had never been to school. 
she had not learnt anything except shooting but she even did not know where to go where to shoot and how to earn the money for her family she stared at the trees and began wishing she wished for beautiful clothes and lots of money she wished she could see the big towns of america she wished she could travel all over the world you know guys everyone has some wishes in his or her life as any was a little girl and she was so beautiful so she had three wishes she wished for beautiful clothes do you have any wish especially girl girl always wish that she has beautiful clothes and lots of money number 2 she wished she wished that she could see the big towns of america as america as a big country she wished she could travel all over the world the third wish was great that she could travel all over the world these three innocent wishes that any had and she was thinking at that time sitting on the log near her cabin any any cried a voice it was her younger brother he seemed to excited about something that he almost tumbled over his own feet as he came running along the path you know guys what is the meaning of tumbled yes fell down so who was crying hmm any's younger brother was crying actually he was calling any in excitement what was the excitement and he was too excited to came to come the, uh, to near the any and almost fell down means knelt down near any whatever the matter asked any 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 asked her younger brother that what's wrong with you what's the matter going on why were you running there is a contest he began they have been all over america you could win it's in the village next week he was stucking while he was uh, why why while he was saying why because he was running that's why he was tired and uh, he was saying in the uh, short short sentences like there's a contest they have been all over america that any could not understand who has been all over america asked any who was coming any asked that who was coming from america her brother sat down on the log beside her then he gulped and began again then her brother sat down calmly he settled down and he came down then he started speaking again it's people from a wild west show buffalo bill and frank butler and people like that frank butler is offering 100 dollars to anyone who can be bear him at shooting he's been all over america and do once ever beaten him yet but i bet you could any i bet you could so he was telling any that some people came from america and they organized a show a shooting contest and they belong to a show that is wild west show who were they buffalo bill and frank butler and one of them frank butler was the finest shot of america at that time he had beaten most of popular shot he never never be loser so everyone was beaten by frank butler but he announced that he challenged that anyone who could beat him he was he or she was awarded 100 dollar and any's brother was sure was damn sure that any could do it 
any could beat him the finest shot of america okay now i have selected one picture that any was sitting on uh, the chair here but uh, actually she was sitting on the log near her cabin and she was doing daydreaming that she wished to have beautiful clothes and she wanted to see the big towns of america and wanted to travel all over the world so any had three wishes okay when is it ask any guys open page number 100 please turn on when is it any was asking about the time of the contest next week the 15th oh any you will go won't you don't suppose they would let a girl try oh they would they wouldn't accept expect a girl of course but they would have to let you try a hundred dollars murmured any yes a hundred you will try won't you any i'm sure you would win the conversation between any and her younger brother was about the contest any's brother was provoking was encouraging her to do the act in that contest the would be contest so uh, he was telling about 100 and dollars and as you know that they were very poor and at that time 100 dollars for them especially were a big amount so any was little angry not readily right so she thought that about uh, that she could do and she uh, she could uh, take participation participation in that contest so she was little angry so on page number 101 right so when the day of the contest came and he went to the village there were flags to mark the place of the contest and there were crowds of people standing about there was a showman who did a great deal of shouting Frank Butler challenges anyone who likes to come. Then, any, any went over there. Where? In the contest. When the contest came, any went to the village with her siblings. The contest was decorated by uh, some bunting, some flags, colorful flags. Guys, have you ever been any contest? Have you ever seen any circus or contest? If you have right in comment box I am looking forward to your concern So and there were crowds of people standing about This people was excited it people were excited to see the show to see the contest and in the middle of the crowd a showman showman means announcer you can say anchor and who was shouting showman was shouting why because he was announcing something that what was he announcing yes he was announcing that frank butler challenges anyone who likes to come as frank butler challenged at that time to do So he cried, "One hundred dollars for anyone who can beat the finest shot in America, and who would, who would beat the Frank Butler? Who would beat Frank Butler? He was awarded with one hundred dollars. Then Frank Butler strode into the square. Strode means walking with proudly, with proud, walking proudly, or with proud." in the circle around around the place he was tall and handsome and was dressed in white buckskins and a wild vest hat buckskin means guys buckskin a skin of male deer that was so expensive so he was dressed with white buckskin and 
wild vest hat white back skin dress and over his head a wild vest hat he had a very charming and handsome personality so he was standing over there with great proud okay the crowd where any took part in the shooting contest uh, in front of frank butler the finest shot of america and she shot very well and she yes she had beaten uh, frank butler okay so please guys open page number 102 Go on, Annie," whispered her sister. "Not yet," muttered Annie. Actually, Annie was little nervous to see the big crowd, to see the uh, people over there, and to see the showman who was shouting and who was praising Frank Butler. And Frank Butler was standing over there and who was praised by showman as he was the finest shot of America at that time. and no one beat him he was not beaten by anyone so uh, she was little nervous and uh, she was losing her confidence at that time to see the big crowd or scenario she let the man go first there were two men from the village and a third from somewhere distant they were good shots all of them but they weren't good enough for frank butler and he knew it he accepted the challenge of each in turn targets went whizzing through the air in the distance frank shot they shot he shot but sooner or later each man missed and there was frank still the champion still swaggering and is smiling in the square so any any was standing over there and then she led the two men uh, to do the act so there were two men from the village and a third man from somewhere distant from all other village two men from her village and one from the far distant or far away they were good shots all of them the three men were good shots but they did not show anything that she could that they could beat frank butler and frank butler knew about it he accepted the challenge proudly in each turn but targets went vain whizzing in the air missed in the air targets went whizzing means target target became vain worthless through the air in the distance frank shot they shot he shot the contest was going on but very soon each man missed and at the end frank is still the champion frank was still the champion and still swaggering he had a swag and smiling in the square he was standing and smiling in the square anyone else asked the showman is there anyone else who will take on frank butler america's finest shot again once again showman shouted and challenged that anyone else came uh, should came to the finest shot and who will take on frank butler he was praising frank butler i will said any i will said any stepping out from the crowd her brother and sister crossed their fingers for luck but frank butler and the showman looked a little annoyed then any stood and stepping out from the crowd as she was standing in the crowd a crowd and was watching the uh, contest 
help brother and sister cross their finger you know guys that americans uh, do always cross their finger for luck uh, their beliefs but frank butler and the showman looked a little annoyed but both of them frank butler and showman uh, became annoyed you murmured the showman in surprise because they didn't know about the little girl that she could do she was surprised to see a little girl uh, who accepted the challenge yes said any i can shoot but she was now proud and confident before that and before them let her try if she wishes said frank butler kindly but frank butler was kind to any and he said kindly and um, humbly that uh, let her try let her do it won't do any harm because he knew that uh, uh, he he uh, defeated very soon a little girl he was not very um, very confident about her the little girl he seemed to think it rather a joke to shoot against this girl from the backwards he was thinking about that was that will be that would be a joke but he smiled graciously graciously means kindly <clears throat> handed her a gun and said you go first but frank butler showed her humbleness or you can say kindness and he handed he got a gun and gave to any and said you go first means he allowed any to do the shooting against him himself okay so guys here is a picture of uh, frank butler and uh, any oakley when she joined wild west show and you can see the picture of frank butler that uh, he had a swaggering personality and always wear back his skin dress and wild west hat so he was very proud because he was the finest shot of america so there is there are rtc number 1 there is a contest they have been all over america you could win it's it's in the village next week who told it who was the speaker any's younger brother yes a hundred you will try won't you any i'm sure you'd win when her siblings were provoking her to take participate to take participation in the shooting contest frank butler challenges anyone who likes to come who was the speaker the show man was the speaker and he was asking the crowd anyone else is there anyone else who will take on frank butler america's finest shot who was the speaker yes again show mo showman was speaking yes i can shoot who was the speaker hmm any okle let her try if she wishes it won't do any harm who was the speaker yes frank butler when he saw any okle the little girl who wanted who had wish to take participation in shooting contest then frank butler asked the showman that let her try okay so guys review of the lesson one day when any was sitting on a log near her cabin and busy in daydreaming her younger brother came to her excitedly and almost tumbled over his own feet why because he heard about a shooting con contest held in her, their village so he wanted to 
he wanted to tell her sister because he know very well that Annie had a skills of shooting. So he told her, he told that uh, there was a contest in the village and winner would get the chance of winning one hundred dollars. That was organized by Frank Butler and Buffalo Bill, heads of Wild West Show. He provoked her to participate in that show and Annie decided to do an act in that show. When she read there, she was little nervous to see big crowd and showman who was giving challenge. Frank was defeating everyone but Annie's siblings encouraged her to do. Okay. Now guys, thank you so much for being with me and I hope you have enjoyed the story and you understood the story. Little short short about Annie Oakley who was a 9 year old girl and famous for her shooting skill that was God gifted. So she fed her siblings, she struggled and she was famous in no time time okay she became famous and popular as a little short shot in no time and she was praised by Queen Victoria and Prince Edward and she traveled all over the world and her wish came true after her struggle so guys take care yourselves and uh, uh, stay following the precautions uh, and suggested precautions against COVID-19. Stay safe, stay home, stay blessed. Okay. Now guys, have a good day. Take care yourself. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.